Hi, this is Donnie. Welcome to therave.com. Today I'm with Kevin and Jason from uh, Trust Company. Why don't you guys say hello to everyone out there? Hello there. What's up? Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you guys here once again. Um, uh, I don't know what week this is of the tour so far. How's things going with Drowning Pool and New Revolution? It's great. It's been an amazing tour so far. I think we're in week we're in week three now, right? Starting three, yeah. Starting three. Kind of gets jumbled together after yeah, a while, I'm it sure. It starts to, yeah. yeah, yeah. Starts yeah. To, the days get jumbled together, for yeah. sure. Right on. But it's been an amazing tour so far. It's been awesome, and it feels good. It's been a while since we've been out, so just getting back out and playing again in front of in front of uh, you know people has been awesome for us. Yeah. Any uh, cool road stories so far from this one run, or is it just kind of been kind of mellow? Well, here's the, here's the, our, uh, our guitar player James every single night he he likes to run on stage and, and stage dive up during our Johnny Pool set yeah. and uh, one night he couldn't uh, it was too far away from the crowd the barrier so he's like I'm gonna run up between the bouncers and jump on and he didn't make it halfway <laughs> there and those bouncers destroyed him oh really they didn't know they, they, they know he's in a band yeah. they just, yeah. they're, they're doing their jobs they think he's like some kid yeah, yeah. I mean they yanked him down so hard he had he had finger marks on his oh, arms when they grabbed him. there's video footage there's of this video. too oh, it, it, it'll be up at some yeah, point it'll be on our website soon it's nice to see him get whipped for a change right on it's good that you guys like nothing happened where you guys could keep playing you know that would right. be terrible to end the tour and something like that yeah um what what brought you guys back to record uh, dreaming in the black and white i know you guys had a hiatus for a while what what spurred the the decision to do this record i know you guys did some demos and then right went yeah. from there we blasted through a mil millions of dollars and you know <laughs> we oh, we wanted to get big again so we could get chicks and money yeah right now i, I think that's what everyone does it, right? <laughs> yeah yeah we took a hiatus for a little while um We've actually been back together playing f since about 2007, right? Yeah. We yeah. just we just did it slow and easy, you know. We got back and started playing, and we just started writing, and there was no pressure for a timetable, so we just kind of did it on our own. Yeah. On our no own time. At the time there was no label, no. So we just started writing. We were doing some tours on our own, just playing some headlining shows around the country, and just took it easy. And and uh, and finally, we got a little bit of interest from a label, and and decided to make a record. It felt right, it felt like yeah. the right time, so we did it. Right on. Well, the uh, the album came out, I think, last year, right, 2010. It, 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 no. it was supposed to. It got pushed back, and yep. it just came out March 8th. March, March 8th. 8th? Like, oh, okay. So, yeah. So you just had the first single come off that, uh, uh, right? Uh, yeah, Heart in My Hands just came off that uh, that. The album, the Heart of My Hands, came out late 2010. Yeah. The album dropped March 8th, so. Gotcha. So it's like, it's fresh for us. It's only been out like two and a half weeks, so we're yeah. stoked. Right on, right on. Is there plans for another single already, or just going to see how this one runs for a while, let it run its course? Uh, we're hoping, we're, we're I think pushing. it's time for a second one. Single, I think, yeah. I think we're going to try to go with the title track, Dreaming in Black and White, okay. just because we got a better gauge now. The record's out, and you, you know, you can go on iTunes and see what the most popular mm -hmm. tracks are, and that track is... Uh, you know, I'll use the term loosely blowing up. You yeah. know, it's not huge by any means, but you know, that's the track that everybody's really digging. That's a great way to gauge it now. Oh, absolutely. Which, which yeah. people are. That's, yeah, totally. Thought about that right now. Um, I know you guys. This is like your fourth time here as Trust Company. It was once as Amity, uh, Amity Lane. Yeah. Um, you guys have any favorite ghost stories or anything you heard from here or any? What's your favorite story? You know, it's funny that ghost stories. Uh, actually, just like. 30 minutes ago, they were like, dude, you want to see the pool? Like, there's a pool, like, between all the bands, everybody knows there's this creepy pool downstairs. Yeah, and everyone talks stuff. about the pool here. Yeah, so we're like, oh, let's go see the pool, because we're playing right next to it. So yeah. we walk, and then we're like, look, and then we're looking at the pool, and we're showing our new bass player, like, yeah, this is this is the pool, and everybody gets to see this. And there's, like, some windows right in the back, and also we see this image that comes up and goes like that, we're all like, whoa. Yeah. And it was just like, I guess there's, like, a, a green room or something on the other side. Yeah. We didn't know that. Yeah, we right. just see an image walk up the way back. <laughs> After we were just, our buddy Phil was just talking about, we're talking about how, how like, this place seems like it's haunted and it's creepy, and also this image comes up and waves. We're like, oh, dude. There's actually so, been a, a few people that want to record, like, um, you know, here at night, like, at, you know, see yeah, right. Stuff, oh, so. yeah. The, yeah. But they've turned it down so far. The so, Ghost Hunters. Yeah, yeah. Right, there's yeah. been a couple of things like That'd that. But cool. we always ask all the bands like they've experienced anything like right, that. So. Right. Well, okay. we were just down there looking and they, they kind of left me for a second. I'm like, I'm not staying down here to get chopped up. Y'all, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me, let me get up but there. But it's really cool, man. This place has like got some history. Oh, yeah. It's famous, you yeah. know, between all the bands. Like, you're playing the rave, oh, dude. It was, uh, there's gold gloves boxing back in the days and stuff like that. So there's always been some kind of entertainment here right. Really, right. Last, right. since 1920. Yeah, that's awesome. Right on. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to tell the fans or anything like that before we go? Just thank you. You know, thanks for supporting us. Come out to the shows. We'd love to say hello to you guys. If you do come to a show, please come up to us and say hello because we'd love to meet you. Oh, yeah, and buy our record. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming in black and white in stores now. Trust Company. Thank you guys very Dude, much. Thank you, thank you so much. Man. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks from the rave.com. Keep checking out more uh, bands coming soon. Thank you.